Have you ever had a friend group that's splitting apart maybe because one of you guys is going to university or someone's moving to a different city? But before you go, you want to do one last thing to remember the good times. Recently, my friends and I realized that these are our last months together before we all split up and end up on different sides of the world. Everyone's getting corporate jobs. Well, except me. I would rather lay on a bed of needles than go back to finance. Ponce's heading to New York, Louise to Australia, and on me, I'm going back to Vietnam. But the one thing that never made it out of the group chat was a road trip around Europe. Except things kept getting in the way, like my dog getting kidnapped. <laughs> but we rescued him, and I recently just bought a car. Yeah, I can road trip at any time, but this might be the last time I could road trip with my friends. And crazy enough, everyone was down, except Louise. She's kind of broke, she wanted to see plans first, so... I have been planning something very, very big for the past month. You're going to want to see this. This is going to be the last road trip, our final road trip together. Let me give you the stats so you understand how crazy this is. We're talking 21 countries. That's 9,768 kilometers. For my American friends, about 6,000 miles. We have 60 days. That's about 2.5 countries a week. Sorry about the terrible handwriting. I haven't written anything since university. There's four people, one dog, and a small car. Guys, I just bought my dream car. That's right. 2004 Mitsubishi Colt, 45 miles per gallon. This baby's getting us through Europe. Now luckily our car is really fuel efficient, so that's gonna be only a thousand euros of petrol. Louise was still a bit unsure. Europe is expensive, so I made her the godfather deal. She can either sell her feed pics, or just focus on filming and having fun. And I'll use the YouTube ad revenue to pay for our trip. Guys, it's the morning and this mother effort got held ransom. Literally. Literally got held ransom. You're an expensive puppy. I hate you. Rubber's kill. And now road trip time. Hi guys, this is the end of an Road trip time. We're saying goodbye. Chopper being the most famous dog in Macedonia. You can't walk out without him getting recognized. You're famous. You're famous. Lulu here, we're back. Lulu's barber shop. But first, <laughs> this man looks like he's got a big blackhead. Oh no. Is that blackhead? Oh no, I don't think it is. Pop it. No, I think it's just a mole. Pop it. No, just pop it anyways. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it was the biggest blackhead. Is it squirting? Oh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah, just bend me over. Oh, wow. Fuck. She was camera. Like, Thank you. Today is our last day in Macedonia. Um, we rescued our dog, and now we are just packing everything to leave. A good thing I don't have very much stuff, so it doesn't take me very much time. We are now starting the final road trip with Ponce and bringing Chopper back to Germany. How have you enjoyed your time here so far? In Skopje? Yeah. I think we had a pretty chill time here. Like, I wouldn't say we got up too much, but it was a good time to relax, catch up on work. Once we lost Chopper, I didn't get any work done. Or sleep. Why do you trust me? At the end of the day, it's you just hair. I add this to my Tinder bio? Let me introduce you to Louise Coelho. I'm pretty sure you guys know about her by now, but she is a Brazilian born. This is ugly, bro. Shut the heck up, bro. Oh, mullets are like my least favorite haircuts. I had a mullet when you slid into my DMs. You but like... it wasn't about your looks, it was about your personality. And now that we know each other's personalities, we're we like, each fuck other. no. <laughs> you don't hate me. You love me. Like, fade? If you think you can do it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. <laughs> He's dog. not famous in Skopje. His dog is famous. Everyone comes up to him and goes, Oh my god, is this Chopper? He <laughs> gives no fucks about you. <laughs> Have you told him that you had a girl literally get a photo with you because you're Asian? This girl in the city center, she came up to me and she's like, Can I have a photo? And I was like, yeah, sure. And she's like, can we bring the other guy? The other guy was also Asian. And afterwards, she's like, I just love Asian guys. <laughs> I love Asians. And I'm just like, yo, I respect it. I feel like K-pop is quite popular in like the Balkan slash Eastern European region. Sorry, I'm so focused right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm a hairdresser, guys. <laughs> she's killing Sign it. up now to get she's, a hair. Yeah, no, I really, really enjoyed my month here. Like, it was just really relaxing. Right, how do I look? How does his hair look? Is it better? Yeah. <laughs> she is very, very sick right now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is a girl that slid into my DMs. She's joining us for half the trip because, well, she's the one that's going to be taking care of Chopper. Then you have Louise. She also slid into my DMs uh, 
She's the mechanic of the group, and she wants to celebrate her birthday in France. Then there's Ponce, who also slid into my DMs. <laughs> He's the editor making these videos for you guys. We're basically doing this entire road trip for him. And finally, there's me. I'm the god of the trip. I have all the power. And if I say I want to get a croissant in Paris, then, well, we have to go to Paris for croissants. <laughs> Someone explained to us, like, is it, like, not normal to wear sandals? Or, like, are my toes ugly? People just love looking at your feet, dude. I know. By my feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dig deep into that. Dig deep into Yeah. Oh. Uh... Yuck. No, you still have some bread. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Can I also ask you? Yeah. Just and then am I allowed to shower or? <laughs> I comment below what you guys think if you think Louise is a cracked barber. I can horn roast. Hi. What a distinguished gentleman. Let's go. That's one. That's one. Go, Chopper. What's up, brother? You're leaving Macedonia today. You're leaving your home. Let's do one more jump into the bed today. Oh my gosh. Nice. You gonna miss it, Chopper? All right, get off me, Chopper. Goodbye, apartment. Goodbye, apartment. You were chilling. Bye, bye. Say that again. <laughs> I just said that I accidentally grabbed Chopper's penis. That is not, she, Ponce said, Chopper, why is your penis so hard? And then Louise said, yeah, he's ready, ready for, for me, me to grab, grab it. Louise is the ultimate passenger princess because she's Australian and can't drive on the right side of the road. But she makes up for it by giving me good head scratches and haircuts. Today is day one of our six month road trip throughout Europe, but it's also the day we finally take Chopper away from his home country. We were supposed to drive straight to Montenegro, but I was driving. And you know when everyone falls asleep, but your friend is supposed to be navigating, but you don't want to wake anyone up? So I missed the turn and we ended up in a strange place in the Kosovian mountains. The thing I worry about most on this road trip is whether or not Chopper will be chill sitting in the car for hours. The longest drive we've ever done together before this was three hours, and he threw up. That might be because it was his first time in the car and he was running all over the place. Today is an eight hour driving day, but surprisingly, he was super calm. We drove through Albania for sunset, which means we've already passed through our first three countries. I was starting to think Chopper might end up being a good travel dog after all. Oh my god, this place is gorgeous. Holy shoot, this is nice. This is a balcony? He obviously doesn't want to go upstairs. It's just naked. Chopper. Chopper. Sounds like elephants attacking each other. 